And I was advised that when you attempted to launch these branches two weeks ago, you were threatened and intimidated. A consequence of which, in fact, some of you ran helter skelter to save your lives. And that tells me that the freedom we thought we won in 1994 is not there for our people. When we won our freedom in 1994, former President Mandela came here. We had a very big meeting uh, at the stadium, it was then called King's Park. President Mandela came to talk to our people there. And his very famous words were that the people of KwaZulu Natal take your spears, your knock kiris, take all your pangas and all of that, throw them into the ocean. Because we want here now freedom for people to do as they choose, to enjoy freedom of association, to enjoy freedom of choice. Because uh, we had a, we had a, a huge stadium in a, a podium, and I have a very terrible photo that if the ruling party pursues the road they are pursuing now, many of our people to lose their lives. But freedom is more important, it's more important than the weapon in the Congress that the African National Congress members and supporters can be. Amongst us, we need to make it quite plain without being provocative and foolhardy. We must make it quite clear that the people of South Africa starting with the people of Azuru Natal, want their freedom, they want it now, they want it here, they want it immediately. We must be free to hold our meetings anywhere, because it cannot be that the African National Congress, or any political party for that matter, can become a prison for citizens of this country. The people of Clermont, with whom we went down, with whom we rose, must enjoy the right of freedom of association. I say so not for the of I want the people of Kwazulu Natal to continue to be free to choose who they would like to support, to be free to walk the street with the teacher of their choice. But I will also do the same thing for the members of the African National Congress. If there be any members of the Congress of the People who want to deny that right from the members of the African National Congress, I will stand with those who are marginalized and denied. And I will oppose you if you do that. I will do the same thing in the members of the IOP who are denied the right to hold a meeting. To be a member of the Congress of the People must be to be ready to defend the rights of all the people of our country. And we challenge the ruling party, I challenge the leadership of the African country to say to their members whether they think it's right for their members to stop and to prevent us from holding meetings there. The leadership of the ANC, starting with the president of the ANC, must say whether that is in keeping with their teachings in the ANC today. Because then we will know that the ANC indeed is no longer that ANC which was led by Nelson Mandela. Is he associating himself with the call that Nelson Mandela made when he was here in 1993 when he called on the people of Natal, of Natal that there must be political tolerance and people must be free to associate as they want. Is the leader of the African National Congress, is the members of the National Executive of the ANC, are they part of that message of freedom of Nelson Mandela? 
or are they something different? I challenge them to pronounce on this issue before the end of the week so that the people of KZN must know. They must know whether the party in power is a party for democracy or for this denial of freedom that is now the order of the day here.